Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 19 at 6. I'm Darcy Strickland. J.R. Barry has the evening off. We're on your side tonight with answers on how you might be able to solve one of the biggest headaches when it comes to traveling in downtown Columbia. News 19's Nick Jones is breaking down what this project is and how you can give your input. The railroad track irritates me. It's a headache almost every time we get on Assembly Street. I ride the bus, so... Even if I'm riding with somebody, we have to sit there and wait on the train. Brittany Briggs knows how notorious train stopping on the roadway is. She says it takes forever to get home sometimes. Good grief, almost an hour and a half, two hours. It is very frustrating. Jennifer Necker, a project manager with SCDOT, says they've been working on a solution since the 1970s. Right now, they're looking at the area starting near Elmwood Avenue, which expands to downtown Columbia and the Assembly Street area and narrows near Owens Airport. Necker says the area they call the ditch near Hugie Street has caused a lot of the issues. And there were some places where they kind of conglomerated lines, combined lines. It may have created some other problems for especially those mill district villages. On June 5th from 5 to 7, SCDOT is holding a public meeting at Seawells to hear your solutions for Assembly Street. I'm really looking forward to hearing those ideas from the people who live there and work there and have the businesses because it is their community and we want to hear their ideas, their local knowledge. In Columbia, Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX. SEDOT did a feasibility study back in 2009 that estimated the cost for those projects to be up to $100 million. At this time, they do not have a project cost estimate because there's no particular plan in place. The public meeting will be Tuesday uh, and it will help bring some of those project ideas to the table.